everyone. I am going to show you how to make a really nice hand cream or facial cream, whichever one you would prefer. And there's many ways that you can uh, make up this recipe. This is this is a very basic that um, I've discovered and I really, really love it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do about a half a cup of coconut oil and it is the solid kind let me show you what that looks like um, I usually get the big jar because I um, use it for cooking and everything it's great for great for all things um, really great for skin because it cleanses and uh, moisturizes at the um, same time as well this I got on Amazon um, you want to get the 100% uh, cold press unrefined. Um, if it, when it's solid, it will um, it will it will stay solid until it hits like seven, 76 degrees, and then after that point, it starts melting. Um, the other ingredient, which would be about a excuse me, about two tablespoons of shea butter, and I like the unrefined. Um, I got this about two years ago, and I got it off of Amazon, and it it's like a pound, and I've had it for a long time. I, I mean, I, I've used quite a bit of it, but it comes in a solid form. It stores really well, very easy to use. I just use a little bit at a time is all I need um, for whenever I'm making up my recipes. So I am going to kind of cream this together. You can use a fork, a fork um, might have been easier to do. Um, and you're just gonna cream it up and add your shea butter to that um, so uh, about a half a cup of coconut oil and then about um, two tablespoons of shea butter and so basically what I did was I stuck these in the microwave um, I did get my ended up getting my coconut oil a little bit softer than I wanted to but It'll, it'll solid right up, especially if you want to stick it in the um, refrigerator. And you just stir it up together. I just nuked the coconut just a little bit, uh, a couple of seconds. And then the shea butter takes a little longer, so I did about 30 um, seconds. And so you just cream those together. And then I'm going to do lavender and frank. So I'm going to do... This recipe is um, about five to 10 drops. So I'm gonna do um, about five each. One, two, three, four, five. Now if I was doing this for like a baby, especially to support their bottom area, I would probably do a lot less, like maybe um, five together or even less than that depending on the age of the baby. One, two, three, four, five. And both of these are great for the skin. Uh, frankincense really helps support the skin, the pores. Um, it's really great for um, mood support, brain support, all these things. And um, lavender is a great for a lot of things. So, you can also add jojoba oil, which is a really nice oil for the skin. It helps glowing, um, and as well as a vitamin E oil. So I'm going to put this in a four ounce mason jar, and this is actually going to go to a teenager. Um, I'm making up a bunch of uh, DIY stuff for her and she is going to love it. She loves all the things DIY and it's gonna be a special treat for her. 
So I'm going to add the lid to it and then I'm going to stick this in the refrigerator because it got a little bit um, softer than I wanted and then later I'll take a fork and I'll whip it up really good just to make sure it's the whipped consistency that I want um, and then basically I'll put a label on it and um, and then maybe put a bow on it or something and then it'll go along with her other goodies in her gift bag so um, I hope that helped with you uh, with the hand cream there's also another way that you can use it you can make it into a, a pain cream to support hips and muscles especially after a long day of work this would be great for men as well I love using pain away and Copa Eba for men, it, it, it really helps supporting their muscles after a long day of work or even that athlete in your family. Um, and all of those, the frankincense, the lavender, the pain away, and the Copa Eba are all in the premium starter kit. So it's a wonderful, great a starter kit to get you started and also to share um, lovely gifts with your family. So I hope that was helpful. In the comments below, share some oils, some essential oils that you love and that you would like to see in your hand or face cream as well. All right, y'all have a good one. Bye.